I know I'm a bit late, but that's why the series is called Recent Releases instead of Weekly, so we're going to be checking out some recent mods for Fallout New Vegas. And we have some pretty cool mods we're going to be looking at today. From new weapons and KMVSE sets, to an overhaul you never even knew you needed, and much more. Now let's start things off with some brand new KMVSE animations. <laughs> Wasteland Warrior by Rockbiter is going to reanimate every single two-handed melee weapon in the game, and these animations are incredibly satisfying to use. The vanilla timings are kept intact, so don't worry, this isn't going to break your game with superhuman swing speeds. The animations themselves though are amazing, they feel incredibly weighty and combining them with a mod like hit stop effects really make these weapons feel as heavy as they should. So whether you're smashing ghouls with a super sledge or poking at a raider with a spear, you should probably be doing it with these animations. B42 Notify will overhaul the corner messages that can appear from time to time, with different types of notifications such as gaining an item or quick saving now being coloured differently so you can tell at a glance exactly what type of notification is what. Both the colour and ability to prevent specific types of corner messages is configurable in the INI and this mod is really worth picking up for the simple fact that as well as everything I've mentioned, multiple corner messages can now be displayed at the same time, which wasn't possible within the base game system. With similar functionality to B42 Notify, recent loot log will display items you've recently acquired on the bottom right hand of your screen, which is incredibly handy if using Jam's loot menu or if you just want some nice visual feedback for picking up items. And then finally we have Softlock Aim Assist, which will probably be handy if you're playing New Vegas with a controller, although it does have keyboard and mouse support as well. It'll add in a little bit of Aim Assist, which is configurable in the INI if the default settings don't fit your needs. This works in both first and third person, and the Aim Assist itself is really smooth actually, and this can help out if you don't enjoy some of the jank that is Fallout New Vegas' combat. Speaking of the combat however, a weapon that will improve your experience is going to be the Colt 2K33. It can be found on vendors with the unique version, the Patriot, being sold by the Van Graaffs. Despite this weapon using 45 ammo, it is a gorse weapon, and the firing effects do a great job at making this actually feel like a gorse weapon, instead of what many mods do where they just switch the projectile type. Out of the box, this weapon will use Hitman's 45 animations, although this mod is also compatible with other 45 animations such as ETJs, which I'm using here. As for the weapon mods though, the default Colt can be modified with an extended barrel which will increase your damage. The unique version however can't be modified as it already comes with this mod pre-installed. Overall this is a very nice weapon mod if you're going for an energy build, and the model's merging of classic and some futuristic elements is done really well, and the quality of this weapon is again top tier so I highly suggest you give this one a try. If that's a bit too futuristic for you however, the White Leg Exile Armor might be the armor set for you. This Nif Bashed armor set is great for any tribal playthrough. It comes with many familiar armors you'll see in your travel across the waste, with it utilizing some of the Raider and the NCR Ranger armor, and you can find it in a newly placed grave outside of Northern Passage. So bring a shovel as this is going to be a must have for your crit builds. With a plus 3 crit chance, poison resistance of 20, and a bonus to 10 to survival, this armor set not only looks good, but is quite good stats wise as well. Working for both male and female couriers, this armor will truly complete your tribal playthrough. But anyways, that's gonna be all for today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider sharing or liking the video. But with that being said, I hope to see you all next time.